Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on how Cody Glass, of course, a former high pick, the sixth overall pick in the 2017 draft by the Vegas Golden Knights, their first uh, pick in the franchise history, didn't work out in Knights land, but he did have some good um, tenures with this. Well, he also has been injured in, in his career, which has been the biggest issue, but in short tenures in a um, eight-game stretch, he did do pretty good with the Chicago Wolves, and then when the Anderson Silver Knights came in, in a 14-game stretch, he did do good with the Silver Knights, and solid in a cup of coffee, he showed his intuitive instincts and his ability to move the pace up the ice and think the game at a high speed, and also move, um, accelerate and think the play a little bit better than guys that are normally 6'3", 206, uh, Glass, Glass is a guy that uh, really is able to find his teammates with ease. If he was in NHL, he would have one of those badges that's all about uh, the passing. And he's one of those guys that seems to intuitively think the game. He doesn't usually make any of the same mistakes, if not three times, definitely not uh, twice. And um, <clears throat> he's one of those guys that um, he needs to be a little bit, use his body a little bit more to a physical degree at the NHL level. But he definitely skates well for a 6'3 guy, thinks the game well, um, really reads whether he should pass the puck well, and reads if he should shoot the puck well, and has a hell of a shot, has a hell of a playmaking ability, and is a guy that has a heck of a chance to be a good 200-foot guy rather than just a pure offensive guy, which is no problem with that, obviously. If you're a great pure offensive guy, that works too. But the Vegas Golden Knights, a lot of their guys are the two-way players, where he fits right into, or not the Vegas Golden Knights, the Nashville Predators, excuse me. A lot of their guys are like, they try to bring in guys like Johansson that plays well on both ends. And then also with Hines, um, it looks like you have Matt Duchesne really buying in, and he's playing the best he's played on the other side of the ice for the first time in a long time and playing great offensively. So um, on that team, I think he fits in well. Um, he's playing very well in the AHL right now. Um, killing it with their minor league team, the Milwaukee Admirals, and has skated in two games with the Predators this year. But with the Admirals, he is at pretty much a points-per-game pace, 16 points, showcasing his passing ability this season, uh, having a Voracekian season, basically. Uh, 14 assists, two goals. He's a guy that I think still could use some seasoning so he could learn how to use just his brute, uh, God-given strength a little bit better. But he's a player that definitely is very close to being ready um, to come back up to the NHL by, I would say, around the holidays if he keeps continuing at this success rate. Because you have guys like Kaneen who are good on both sides. Colton Sissons is good on both sides. Even Novak um, ain't terrible on both sides. Uh, Cousins is a good forechecker, not the best defender. Um, and then you have Johansson, who obviously is great on both ends. Gronlund uh, is more of a offensive output player, but playing his better defense this season, along with Duchesne and Forsberg, uh, buying in there with John Hines um, for an impressive Nashville Predators team this season. So I think just bringing up a guy, you have Cody Glass. Obviously, Novak's been playing solid, um, the 85th overall pick in 2015, and then Tomasino's a player I really like, he's 20 years old, but Novak's somebody that you could sub out, or obviously uh, Cuz is somebody you could sub out as well, um, so you're going to be able to have guys, if he comes up, you're, you're going to be able to slot him into the lineup, that's basically what I'm saying, and Glass is playing like a bat out of hell in the minors right now, he's starting to use for the Admirals' his body to the more physical effectiveness degree, that oomph degree that I was talking about, and that's very good to see. Well, the only issue the Predators have now is they just need uh, UC Soros, the rock, back from uh, their injury, and they'll be fine because Riddich has been struggling. Ingram's been uh, solid in two games, good in one, not as good in the other. So, um, Philly Myers has been a scratch this year, only played in nine games. Former Flyer, undrafted guy. You don't obviously want to bank on those undrafted guys like as much as the Flyers did on them. Well, they're not doing that there. He's an extra defenseman for them. So if he can get going, that's another big thing for the Predators. But to wrap this video up, Cody Glass, uh, he's a player that still has a hell of a chance to develop into a nice guy. Will he be like everybody always harps on the full potential of what a six overall pick was? Who knows? But he doesn't really have that pressure on him anymore, and it's showing 
one, he's staying healthy, and that's a big thing, that he got over that bug of a knock on wood, so hopefully that continues for him. But two, he doesn't have the pressure of being that first pick for an expansion franchise anymore and having all that over his head because he's been moved on. He's in the Nashville Predators organization now, and he has guys like Duchesne, uh, Gronland, and Johansson performing above him, and they're playing very well. Oh, he told who had a great deflection goal yesterday. Cunning's not the best offensive player. Um, probably will be ranked a little bit lower um, after the 17 draft, how the Hockey News had him ranked. I think it was in the top 15 maybe for Cunning. Um, when it came to the top 100 prospects, it was at least the top 25. But he's definitely a very solid, just does it on both ends of the ice, uh, high energy uh, type player <clears throat> um, that really puts out good defensive numbers. So um, they have a very good building team here, and now they're going to add more skill when it comes to Cody Gloss whenever they decide to call him up. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been a quick six-minute video on Cody Glass just having a killer start to his career with the Nashville organization down there with the Milwaukee Admirals, where I would say by the Christmas holiday or by the beginning of January, if he keeps this up, if not sooner, he will probably be back up with the Nashville Predators. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great day.